Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to use Sandboxy Plus in combination to the JMaster Dual Bot. There will be a new tab called Sandboxy in JMaster Dual Bot. Here you have to enter your Steam installation directory. By default it says C Program Files x86 and Steam. If you enter the correct path, it will light up in green and if it's the wrong path, it will tell you that it's wrong and it will be in red. For Sandboxy Plus, all you have to do is click on the Download Sandboxy Plus Installer button. This will open up in your browser, so just download the installer for Windows and then install it into the default location. Then this will automatically become green. After installing Sandboxy, you will load it up. And in this field here, you can create a new sandbox. You can minimize that and right click and create a new box. You can name it however you want. You just say standard sandbox, next, finish. Okay, now you first of all have to change the sandbox options. This is required for the bot to work. So in the ini file, you have to paste a configuration which I already did in my other sandbox in this one you go ahead and open the box settings and you paste this here hit apply and OK next you will select the sandbox you want to use right click and run run program then you will get something like this this will allow you to run a certain program, so you make sure to select Steam, Link, or just the EXE. You click OK, and then it will start up Steam. This can actually take a little bit of time, so you need to be patient. Maybe you need to restart Steam. And once you did, you will get a second copy of Steam open right here. You see that it's sandboxed by having these yellow lines around your windows, or green lines. So. Now you can actually go ahead and go to the library and start the master dual game, a second copy. This is my other account, it's already running, it's not sandboxed. You can see that there's no glowing borders around it. So you will be running the second version of master dual from your second account. In order to attach to a sandbox, all you have to do is mention the sandbox name in this field and then tick this checkbox. We've already done the open pipe path settings part, which is mentioned here. You can also click here to go to the documentation page. Now that we opened up a second copy of Master Duel, we can see that it will work when we attach to the sandbox. So we're using the sandbox Shadow Wind 4 and attach to it. Now we're able to control this second copy of the game using the bot, pause game. It's paused, we can resume game, it's resumed. Now if you want to attach to the original copy, you just untick this and then it will control this copy. You can pause game, it's paused, and resume game. Now inside this window, you can press the delete key. You will get the Master Jewel Salifa pop-up. In this window, you can do the same thing. You can press the delete key after you logged into the game and you see the main menu or any other menu and you can see the master Jewel salifa menu as well so we're waiting till that's logged in okay so we press the delete key and here you go so what you can do which is pretty cool is that you can run the solo completion on two different copies of the game so we will try that out right now we will first attach to the original game, which already happened. And we can run the complete all solo chapters function. This will affect this part of the bot. So you see the numbers going up. Next, we will attach to the second copy of the game and we will check this checkbox. In the title of the bot, you can see if you're attached to a sandbox or not. So here you can just do this for the second game and that's it so it's working in both games it's both completing the solo mode and you can cancel them you can also run the regular bot all the bot functions will work on either copy of the game so if you run two different copies of the bot you're able to basically bot two games at once so we can try it first we will attach to the original game 
and we can just say farm ranked and run bot. So let's see what happens. Submitting 25 image templates. Okay, clicking add. So it clicks on the dual button. Okay, it needs to try it again. It clicked, okay. So we can see it works on this copy of the game. Now we can also attach to the other copy of the game, bringing it back up here. And we can also do run bot. Let's see if that works. And you can see that it also started botting that game. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. And if you want to bot two games at once, now you know how to do it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe.